It's time to make the goodbyes. If you're like me, you like knowing what to expect at more obscure airports. Today, I'm going to show you what you can expect from the Socotra Airport. But first, we need to make a quick trip to the eye doctor so I can get a proper exam for my irritated eye. Well, on the morning of me leaving, I was finally able to get in to see the ophthalmologist, the eye specialist. And I did have a small, very white foreign body on my eye, and he has taken it out. And I have a whole slew of drops. Ah, uh, the discomfort is gone, thank goodness. I can say that now I've had my eye scraped with a needle <laughs> and yemen on my trip. Oh, and that uh, doctor visit and all of my medicines and the treatments cost me a whole three dollars US. That's incredible. If you go to Socotra, I cannot recommend these guides, Isa and Hussein, enough. They will make sure you have an amazing time. So when they check you, they do do a slightly, I guess, increased check of you. Um, I guess it's an eco check. Um, so they took me behind the walls again. They had to check everything in my bags to make sure I don't have anything special. My stuff was looked at pretty carefully when I was in Seyun as well. So maybe that's just a Yemen thing. Could be. There's only one check-in line, so it does take a while to get processed. Understandable if there's only one to two flights per week at this airport. Then you go to this waiting area that actually has a couple of amenities. Swing by the one souvenir shop to get any last minute gifts or memories. There is a small cafe that sells pre-made sandwiches and sodas, and a tiny bathroom that isn't the cleanest. You'll go through one final security screen and passport check before being allowed on the tarmac to board the plane. It's a breezy, beautiful, very hot, very, very hot day here. Oh, I don't want to leave. This is a magical place. And the people that I was working with and the guys that I had really, really made it special. And I'm sad to be leaving. It's a beautiful island. I mean, if you're camping and outside, it's really, truly okay. It's very tolerable otherwise. The plane again is new, very comfortable, and clean. Looks like they send their best for Socotra. As we took off and I got my final glimpses of the island, I made the decision that I would be back very soon. I hope this helps give you an idea of what to expect and how to plan your trip through Socotra Airport. Thanks for joining me on this journey, and I'll see you in my next adventure.